thank you for viewing today. My name is Sherry White from Fountain of Life Ministries International, a home based in Athens, Georgia. But my husband and I travel all over the world preaching and teaching the Word of God about the Kingdom of God. And today I'd like to talk to you about thinking like God. You know, that is a possibility because in 1 Corinthians 2.16, it says that we have the mind of Christ. If you belong to him and you have him living inside of you, in your heart, he is your Savior and he is your Lord, then you have his mind. And so I want to talk to you about what does that really mean to think like God. You know, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. But by the Spirit of God, we can have the same thoughts that God has. You know, what does God think about sickness? Uh, 2 Peter 2.24 tells us how he thinks about sickness. If by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. That's what he thinks. His word is his, his thoughts, the, his ways, uh, his pathways. You know, in, for, in Joshua chapter 1, he tells Joshua, Meditate in my word day and night. Meditate in this word day and night. And it says that it, you will be successful and your way will be prosperous. You know, and if there's times in your life that you feel like uh, that there's been a failure uh, in your life, were you really thinking the way God thinks? And, you know, his, his mind is the mind of the spirit and not the mind of the flesh. So it says in Philippians 4, 8, Finally, brethren, think on these things. Think on things that are lovely, that are of good report, that are pure. Uh, think on, the, on these things. And he says, and if you do, then your heart and your mind will be at peace. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, I think about just, just having those thoughts uh, of God in my mind. So that I know exactly what to do in each situation. That's so important uh, to think that way. Let's go over to uh, Philippians and look at that scripture um, that says, Think on these things. If we would just get a hold of this, uh, I believe that, that our days and, and our hours here on earth uh, would be a lot easier. Uh, it says here uh, in Philippians 4, uh, verse 8, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are right, whatever things are pure and lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, if, if there's any virtue, if there's any power uh, in our lives, think on such things. And if we go back to verse 7, I always like to think, keep things in perspective. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. The peace of God goes beyond, beyond what we can even think with our carnal mind or comprehend or understand with our, with our, with our carnal minds. We'll guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You know, we are to guard our mind, and part of that is putting the Word of God into our spirit that will come up, the Holy Spirit will bring it to our remembrance. The Holy Spirit will tell us, this is the verse that you need for this situation. Hallelujah. You know, and Jesus was, was, was just telling us, please think on these things. And if we go to Romans uh, chapter 8... It says, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And you'll find that right here. Um, it says here um, that we are not controlled uh, by our carnal thinking, but we are to be controlled by the mind of Christ. We are to submit ourselves uh, to the mind of Christ. And when we do that, then we become heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. We become partakers 
of his divine nature when his thinking is is there. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for just helping us to think like you think and to, to be able to move and live and have our being in Christ Jesus. And having his mind is is part of that living and moving and having our being in him. Uh, in him we live and move and have our being. And, and when we begin to meditate in his word like he told Joshua, you know, I want to be successful. I'm sure you want to be successful. Uh, I don't like failure. I don't like to make mistakes. And so we go to the word of God and we get his mind on the situation or the circumstances. I encourage you today to get into this word and to find out his mind and become a thinker, a thinker of God, just to think like him, to move like him, to speak like him, to walk in his ways. Uh, I pray for you today. Uh, people are being healed right now of... Uh, intestinal uh, stomach flu uh, symptoms. I just see it right now in the spirit that you are. those symptoms are leaving you. You are healed in Jesus' name. I see throats being healed. Uh, even throat cancer uh, is disappearing. Those cells are drying up and dying uh, in your body in the name of Jesus. I see a right ear uh, being opened up that has been clogged up and and, and hurting you and throbbing. Uh, pressure has been on the side of your face. And I see that being relieved by the Spirit of God right now in Jesus' name. I see uh, individuals that have uh, leg cramps. Uh, those cramps uh, being uh, from the lack of blood circulation going into your legs. Right now I speak to the heart uh, in those situations. I speak to the heart uh, in your body to pump. Uh, blood to that area of your body and that those cramps in the legs will disappear and be gone in Jesus' name. Hallelujah for His healing. Hallelujah for, for God uh, who wants us to think like Him. That we are His children and He wants to, to give us His thoughts and His, His, His purpose and His plan uh, for our lives. There is a young man that's listening to this video right now. And the Lord wants you to know uh, that the, the plan that you have is your own plan. It's not his plan for your life. Uh, his plan for your life is uh, for you to uh, stay with your family and to, and to do what is right, uh, to do righteousness. And I call you forth into righteousness right now in the name of Jesus because you've had some thoughts about leaving and going your own way. And the Lord says, no, that is not the way that he is thinking about this situation. Right now, uh, there is a, a person who you've been diagnosed as bipolar. And they want to put you on a lot of medication. Right now, the Lord is healing. He is reversing uh, that uh, mental disorder. You have a sound mind. You do not have a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That's what it says in Timothy, that you have a sound mind. I speak that over you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for viewing. God bless you.